What's up, folks? Your buddy Fed Ready. Tonight we're doing a raw recap. Tonight's raw is coming from my old stomping grounds, Washington D.C. Becky Lynch comes out. She says she's not playing around. She now knows who her WrestleMania opponent is. Duh. We kind of all knew that about a month ago. We have a recap of the women's elimination chamber match. Lynch runs down Baszler, saying, "I'm the bitch that runs the division, and that she's gonna smash Baszler's face in." Once again, pointless opening segment. We then go to our first match. Rey Mysterio versus Angel Garza with Zelina Vega at ringside. Garza had most of the offense through this match. This was a really fast-paced, enjoyable match. I liked it. Rey Mysterio hit the 619, got the dime, and got the win. Earlier today, we see Kevin Owens getting beat down by the Disciples of Pain. We then go to a video package of Rhea Ripley talking about her WrestleMania moment. Which, of course, is going to bring out Charlotte Flair to ring. She talks about the video package. She says she will humble Rhea at WrestleMania. Which, of course, brings out Rhea Ripley. Flair cuts her off saying, we heard you talk for two hours. And we're just wasting more time from here. Rhea Ripley decks Charlotte Flair, laying her out, and walks off. We then have Bobby Lashley versus Zack Ryder with Kurt Hawkins at ringside. It is a glorified squash match. Bobby Lashley won it. Backstage, Seth Rollins tries to recruit Aleister Black. He says no. This later goes on to being a match. Then we got Drew McIntyre versus Eric Rowan. McIntyre immediately takes it to Rowan, putting him down. He grabs Rowan's cage, puts it down on the middle of the floor, grabs the ring steps, and smashes the cage. Thank God we put an end to that bullshit. McIntyre lays out Rowan with a DDT and a Claymore kick and gets the win. We then have a very extended recap of Randy Orton when he RKO'd Beth Phoenix last week, as if we all forgot. We then have the Kabuki Warriors versus Natalya and Liv Morgan. Before they come out, the Kabuki Warriors are on the microphone pulling an Elias. Kyrie Sane reintroduced me to the mute button. Jesus Christ. Once we get the match started, eh, about partway through, Ruby Riot comes out. She just stands there. Shortly afterwards, Sarah Logan comes out. She just stands there. Then the former Riot Squad members start fighting. This part here was more interesting than the match itself. Liv Morgan gets onto the top rope, jumps onto the former Riot Squad, leaving Natalya to fend for herself. Asuka gets the pin. All right. Then we got AJ Styles and the OC coming out. AJ's pissed off that The Undertaker has cost him two matches already. We then cut to an Elimination Chamber recap. Styles talks about The Undertaker when he folded up everything, left it on the middle of the ring and walked off. He said that that was his moment to retire and that Undertaker ruined it by coming back. Styles says that The Undertaker is a broken down old man called Mark Galloway. What? Um, sorry, it's Calloway with a C. He says Taker should have retired 10 years ago and that The Undertaker is doing all of this because of his wife, Michelle. She's running him into the ground. And AJ Styles says at WrestleMania, he will take Undertaker's soul. Who hasn't heard that one before. Then we have Cedric Alexander versus Riddick Moss for the 24-7 title. Um, aren't these matches kind of missing the point of the 24-7 title? Anyways, this is the M match. Riddick Moss won and Cedric Alexander drops further into obscurity. We then come back from a commercial right in the middle of an MVP promo. Shocker, it's the beginning of the hour. He wants to start a stable, and he wants Edge to be part of it. As MVP is flapping his gums, Edge pulls up into the arena. He comes out, gets into the ring, calls out Randy Orton, tells him to grow some balls. MVP tells Edge that he's not focused, that he should be focusing on other things. How is his wife doing? To which MVP ends up eating a spear. Randy Orton pops up, starts to attack Edge. Orton eats an RKO. Edge rolls out of the ring, grabs two chairs, but Randy Orton just bolts right out of there. MVP attacks Edge again, and Edge gives MVP an RKO onto a chair, sets him up, and gives him a concerto. The crowd chants one more time, and Edge obliges, hitting MVP again. Randy Orton walks off backstage, and Edge gives chase. We then waste more time with a video package of Paul Heyman felatiating Brock Lesnar and his accomplishments, which is followed by Drew McIntyre saying that Lesnar's met his match. We then cut backstage where Edge finds out that Randy Orton's left the arena. This brings us to our next match, Seth Rollins versus Aleister Black. Murphy is at ringside. This is a good physical match. It was a lot of action, but of course Murphy had to come in, attack Aleister Black, causing a disqualification. Seth Rollins motions for the AOP to come out. They all beat down on Aleister Black. The Viking Raiders and Street Profits come out to save him. Montez Ford tells the ref not to disqualify Seth Rollins, that let's have an eight-man tag match. What the fuck? Um, it has to be a disqualification, because what just happened with Aleister Black? Um, we just left him swinging? So, we have an eight-man tag team match. Seth Rollins and the Disciples of Pain versus the Viking Raiders and Street Profits. Jesus fucking Christ. I am... 
sick of seeing this fucking match. And in one form or another, we have the Disciples of Pain and Seth Rollins versus either Viking Raiders, Street Profits, Kevin Owens, uh, Samoa Joe, and some form or another at the end of the goddamn fucking show. I am sick of seeing this shit. It is the law of diminishing returns. The more you keep doing it, thinking, oh, this is awesome. No, it, it, you're getting less and less from it. I really didn't watch the match. I said, fuck it. You know, we've seen this 10,842 fucking times. Seth Rollins won it. He got the pin. After the match, Kevin Owens comes running out, attacks the AOP, Buddy Murphy, and Seth Rollins. As Owens is fighting him off, Seth Rollins hits him with a curb stomp three times. We end tonight's Raw. As a fallout show for Elimination Chamber, holy fucking shit, this one sucked. We started off with a good match. Garza and Mysterio was a good match. I liked it. Then we just went straight down fucking hill. We went through the same bullshit we've always gone through. It was talk heavy as fuck. And we ended up with the same goddamn fucking tag team that we always see 847,000 times. Jesus Christ. Hopefully SmackDown will be better. Can't fucking be much worse. That'll do it for this episode of Raw Recap. I'll be back later this week with the SmackDown review. Leave a comment down below. What you thought of tonight's Raw? What you thought about this video? If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to share and subscribe. I've been Fatal Roadie. You've been awesome. Thank you very much for watching. And remember, if it's too loud, you're too old. See ya.